Tonight, more than a billion people will go to bed hungry. In this course, we'll work together to try to understand why it is so many people in most parts of the world do not have access to an adequate supply of safe, nutritious food to allow them a healthy, active lifestyle. The world requires so much more food, is demanding so much more food, and there's less land available to grow it on, less water available to grow it on. Um, the way that uh, the lack of food is going to start impacting on populations and civil society, and the way it will impact on our food choices, and the way we choose food and how that impacts on our health, all of those things really matter. In this course, we'll see how, in all likelihood, Modern agriculture, with the help of science, can deliver increasing quantities of healthy, nutritious food. Which can give people a long and healthy life. But will this feed an ever-growing human population? Almost certainly not, unless we also consider a wide range of social factors, many of which have little to do directly with food. Some of the hungriest people in the world are actually farmers and live in rural areas. We must also waste, less food. We actually throw away more bananas than we actually eat. Use fewer resources in food production and generally increase the sustainability of our food production processes. Farmers must strike a balance between protecting the natural environment and producing the food we need. How to do this raises many questions and there are lots of questions around the issue of food security. We'll work with you to try to consider how we can address food security across this broad range of issues so that together we consider how to increase the well-being and health of a growing world population. It's going to be the biggest challenge that we have faced ever as a society. We really need to put more effort into getting students to engage with some of these really important challenges. If you think about your own personal health, you do a lot to promote that. It seems that we don't take that similar proactive approach when we think about food. What do I need to do to improve the way that I treat food, value food, maybe grow food, and eat food? Uh, I think Food Security Course uh, in this format can do that.